Hi hey guys, the rapture thing, I, I mentioned earlier in comments that I didn't have time, I didn't really expect it to randomly happen after like 25 minutes. Uh, so I do have time, I can just do a quick run through. I have a, I've drawn up a graphic here to show give or take what my plan was. And step by step what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm starting everything with a dummy pre-build. These are death spore arrows, they, every time you crit with the death spore arrows they give you one stack. At 5 stacks, your next range ability that normally costs a Dren will be free. So I, I use the Despor Arrows to build up 5 stacks, then I do Incendiary for free. After that, since I'm still at 100%, I do Natural Instinct. And after the Natural Instinct GCD is over, the Incendiary, the incendiary explodes, giving me crit refunds in a Dren for every time I crit. So I use a Karaming Crater Ricochet with my Sarite Bow, just because it doesn't use any ammo. You could do this with any weapon, really. Uh, as soon as I'm back up to 100% Adren, I have crit buff and natural instinct buff with me. Then I run over to Raksha, start a sunshine, pretty much the same second that Raksha is targetable, because I want the sunshine to last as long as it can into the kill. Because I already have the crit buff up, I do an FSOA spec rather than a tsunami, which I would normally do first. And then I sort of improvise my way through the first phase, which was um, normally a... Wild Magic, an ABS, an Omnipower, another ABS, and then hopefully I phase into phase 2 with the Tsunami, because at this point my crit buff from the previous incendiary shot has run out. After the Tsunami I go into phase 2 and the Rockfall, I pretty much stay planted and just try to like remain high HP by eating and soul splitting. So I'm um, doing ABS specs alternated with the, the thresholds that I have left, which is a 2 hit asphyxiate, because all, doing all the four hits is not really worth it DPS-wise in the situation. Then going into my smoke tendrils and uh, hopefully finishing everything off with another wild magic and an ABS. And this is a little bit of a like variable because obviously you're not going to know how many times you crit, how much adren you get back, how much damage you're going to deal. So it's not always going to be lasting to this, like exactly the same point of the kill. Hopefully... I was trying to go into phase 3 before my sunshine ran out so that I could do like 32, 33 seconds of sun for P1, P2 and then just dump something like another wild magic and an ABS or something while going into phase 3 and getting a little bit of damage ahead there. Then depending on where I was time-wise or dren wise I could also do the Saren Godbow before I did the pulls or I could do it after. This was different, different kills. Uh, in this case I chose to do it after. So as soon as I've cleared a little bit of phase 3 and I've done like 3 or 4, maybe 5 if I'm feeling brave GCDs, during the rockfall I go clear the pools. I'm using the normal bladed dive method with a Lania Chaos Spear and the, whatever they're called, Laceration Boots. Then I go back to Raksha and I have a, in this kill I have 100k left to deal with before it faces over to P4, so I do a Saren Godbow, I improvise and an Omni Power and some, some uh, like random Threshers and Basics. I really don't have a solid plan for P3, I, I throw these things around, do them backwards or whatever, but it, does, it doesn't make a huge difference so long as you get these things done. Um, phase 4 is just your standard FSOA build. Uh, because of the pre-build, I didn't use my Adren Potion for P1, so I just saved that to P4. That was most of the idea behind having the pre-build. And uh, Phase 4 is just like a Sun Tsunami FSOA into alternating ABSs and thresholds the same way I would do anywhere else. This, this I just realized, looking at this graphic now, that I, I don't always do an ABS spec before the first Wild Magic. This is mostly a Concentrated Blast or something, but either way. Like all of this is just, it's dynamic, unpredictable, and it's adrenaline refund dependent. So this is not going to be the exact same thing every kill for you. Most kills are going to be different, but this is give or take what I was aiming for. And then if phase 4 happens to suck, normally the good P4s were somewhere around like 35 to 37, 38 seconds long, so I could get them all done in one sun. Uh, if it happened to suck, I would just finish the last bit with another Saren God Bow and some um, improvised basics and uh, like G stuff. Um, so yeah, this is this was my general plan and um, I didn't really know how well it was going to go, how much time I would have to spend or whatever. I just thought it was incredibly fun and I needed something to do. 
Going into my actual kill and just looking at what I did in hopefully something resembling the order I planned out. This is dropping my dummy. I don't have a stalled ability with me or anything. I'm just doing the death spore arrows to get up to five stacks, which I got now. Then I'm doing my incend, my gnat, and my greco, which sucked in this case, but it doesn't matter. So I just finished up with some extra basics to get back up to 100%. Now, Raksha is about to spawn, and the things that I want to worry about for this specific part is just to uh, wait until it's sort of targetable, then drop my sun, smoke cloud the boss, vuln the boss, and start with my rotation. So there will be the sun, the cloud, the vuln, a pretty good G-Konk into the spec with the staff, first wild magic, first ABS, omnipower, Second ABS that I had to cut a little bit early there. Facing with the Tsunami. ABS. Yeah, you know the drill. Alternating thresholds and ABSs. So because P2 was pretty quick, I ended up having a couple of seconds left on my sun so I could face into phase 3 with that disgusting wild magic that crit twice and the following orders from it crit twice as well. I dropped it down to 307k, as you can see here, then I started deciding to go for the pulls. Now, I chickened out here, I could have... I don't think I would have gotten it, but I could have probably just stayed on the boss, not breaking this off, doing SGB into Omnipower and hope to clear everything and just skip the entire, like, skip the pulls and the, the mind special attack to save myself time. I didn't do that, because I cared more about getting the sub too. So here I'm going into my Omnipower, some basics, and a measly Saren God Bow that I forgot to switch my, my T99 prayer for. Now doing this bit is just improvise. Clear to 200k, hopefully you're at reasonable adren, so you're going to P4. Now I'm in a fucked up situation here, I'm uh, kind of unprepared for this to go as well as it did. I'm at 64% adren and my plan is to start P4 with a sunshine, the first thing that I do. So what I went for here is I opted to do a couple of basics, then when uh, P4 started, I ran over to Raksha, did my like recloud and everything, I divert, and then I sun. So I regain some adrenaline from that divert on the first attack that Raksha lands on me and get a little bit ahead, of, a little bit ahead in my sunshine build so I can start doing the whole alternating thresholds and ABSs thing again. So that would be my wild magic into my ABS, then an omnipower into another ABS, an asphyx that I cancel with the third ABS. During this part, I just do the smoke tendril thing into another ABS and finish with the wild magic and, you guessed it, another, another ABS. This is really fun. It's pretty, like, inconsistent in the sense that the crit refunds vary a lot and it has sort of a downward spiral effect whenever something goes wrong the next couple things are gonna go wrong and like you have to spend some time cleaning up whatever you fucked um don't expect to do this and be in like a 10 second span of consistency because even though i had during this little project i had like 25 kills that were in the like two minutes to 205 region i also had 25 kills that were in the 230 region the the variable spot, uh, span is quite large and is sort of unpredictable, but it's really fun. And if someone wants a pet project to just fuck around with or likes to kill Raksha, this is, in my opinion, the best way to do it. And if you want to see something truly spectacular following the same method, but combining it with a Ruby Seren Godbow in the phase three entry, skipping the pools and everything, going just absolutely fucking kamikaze ballistic, in the description down below, I'll put a link to African Herb, who has the current world record at 138, which is just fucked. But yeah, it's it's really cool. It's a spectacular and very weird kill that will be very difficult to reproduce. As always, thank you for watching. I have a lot of my plate for my real life right now, so I don't have the amount of time that I used to to put out like new guides or make up whatever more time consuming content i will carry on playing and do my prs now and then and whenever i do have a couple of hours free i can do something like this have a nice day everyone and yeah until next time